What is up my social anxiety warriors? It's Ed Barton, the social anxiety coach again here. And in today's video, I wanna share with you three mistakes I made which I want you to avoid. Number one is a massive one, and that is that I took way too long to overcome social anxiety. It wasn't until the age of 32 that I started taking massive action to turn my life around and overcome social anxiety disorder. And this wasn't particularly through any fault of my own, but the information just wasn't out there when I was going through the struggle. I was groping around, reading bits here, reading bits there, and it was like this jigsaw puzzle that I was trying to put together to try and figure out what was wrong with me. And it wasn't until much later in life that I even came across the term social anxiety or social anxiety disorder. So if you're already armed with that information and you know what is going on with you and what the problem might be, I implore you not to waste any time. I'm incredibly proud, happy and privileged to work with people as young as 19 and they will know who they are watching this on the west coast of America. Please do not sit on the fence, do not let life pass you by because unfortunately social anxiety doesn't just get out better on its own. In many cases, in my own case, it kind of festered like a wound and actually got worse when I isolated myself away in China. When I was 26, 27, 28, I wasn't doing any socialization. I wasn't doing anything to take action on it. It didn't get better with time. It just got worse. So if you do know what the problem is with you, please take action, address it as soon as you possibly can. Number two would be once you do start taking action, please do not overthink things. I used to completely get stuck in paralysis by analysis. There were many different areas where I would plan my exposure therapies and overcomplicate everything. You really don't need to. Just take very small, imperfect action as quickly as possible. You don't have to set yourself the perfect target of having a perfect conversation or going up and doing some spectacular interaction with a stranger. Just start very, very small, and just very, very dirty and just learn by doing it. The problem that we have as humans is we often go off into our room and we sketch out, right, on, on this day, I'm gonna have the, per I'm gonna wake up, perfect time, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., gonna have the perfect workout, then I'll be in the right state to go and approach someone on the street and speak to them for a second or two or whatever it is, and we plan and plan and plan. And it never happens because we overwhelm ourselves with these weight of expectation and these ideas of perfection. So just take imperfect action, don't overthink it, just get out there, face whatever fear it is in some very small way that you can. Maybe you've been hiding yourself away completely in your apartment as I used to do. Just try go down to the shop near your house or whatever and just go in and look around and walk out, whatever it is, doesn't matter. You don't need to plan the perfect exposure therapy or perfect comfort zone challenge just take imperfect action. And the third point is somewhat related, but it is just to take action, do the thing. I wasn't taking action enough initially, and I would just recommend to anybody who's watching this, you just need to get out there and do the thing, whatever it is. It's like ripping off a Band-Aid. If there is a fear that you've got to face, you can't figure it out by reading on Reddit. You can't figure it out by reading more and more books about social anxiety. I knew everything. Like I could have I could have got a PhD in the psychology behind social anxiety. I had read so many articles. And this is the problem when you have social anxiety, you often have a very analytical mind. You can be obsessive. You're probably highly intelligent as well, but you can just go down endless rabbit holes, watch endless YouTube uh, videos and content all about the problem. And I knew everything. I'd been on forums, I'd been on YouTube, I'd watched hundreds of, hundreds of hours, I'd had therapy, I'd watched, you know, listened to all the podcasts, but none of that can actually replace taking action. That's the thing. So knowing is nice, but doing is much, 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 much better. So you've really got to just do the thing. There's no way around it. You will feel scared, you will feel the fear, but as the saying goes, you've got to feel the fear and just do it anyway. So if you're watching this, I hope this will give you some inspiration and some impetus to take action. First of all, don't wait any longer. Whatever age you are right now, that's the best age. That's the best time. 20 years ago, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Don't cry over spilt milk if you're watching this and you're 45, 50, 60, whatever it may be. 
The fact is you're on the path now, you understand, you know what your problem is. That's the most important thing, figuring that out. Now you know that, you're armed with knowledge. So do not delay. Number two, don't overthink things. Don't sit around analysis by paralysis. Whatever it is, set yourself a challenge. Just take small, imperfect action. The best workout you do, the best workout is the one you do, right? We can all sit around and plan the perfect sets and reps in the gym, but never go because we feel totally overwhelmed. The best workout, it might be five push-ups every morning. That's great, as long as you're doing it. It's, a, it's way better, right? A, a, an actual plan which is executed is way better than just some scheme that we have in our head. And that's what most people do and what most of us live like. We just have schemes in our head. And number three, just take action. You just got to do it. Don't keep reading. Don't go into the rabbit hole of intellectualization. The problem with social anxiety is that we're up in our head anyway. You got to get into your body more. So don't keep researching it. There's, that's just a way of procrastinating, thinking, oh, if I just read one more article, I'll understand the origin of my problem even better. If I just watch one more video on YouTube, then I'll really get the, the mindset that I need to do this. There's no way around it. You just got to feel the fear. You just got to take action. So those are my points for you today. I hope that will give you a push to start facing your social anxiety. If this video was valuable to you, please like the video, leave your comments below, subscribe to the channel, and help me to help more people overcome social anxiety.